The Bison Basketball Show with NDSU head coaches Dave Richmond and Jory Collins. The Bison Basketball Show is presented by Gate City Bank for a better way of life. And Pepsi. Hey, Bison Nation, welcome back to another edition of the Bison Basketball Show along with NDSU women's head coach Jory Collins. I'm Sam Niederman. Boy, do we have a great show for you here today. Bison are winning games left and right, and Coach, what a weekend. Go to St. Thomas, pick up a huge win on the road in dominant fashion, and then come back here and take care of business against the Fighting Hawks. Congratulations on a couple of great wins. Thanks, Sam. Appreciate it. It was uh, you know, a good week for us, obviously, to be able to get uh, both those games and uh, go on a road against a good St. Thomas team and play just, just played some good basketball and then able to come right back here on Saturday and, and play well again. It was a lot of fun. Well, let's start with Thursday, Coach. 96-53, to 53, the final score in St. Paul. It was a three-point shooting barrage, which would be a theme throughout the entire yeah. weekend. 13 of 18 beyond the arc. Almost hit triple digits offensively. What was working so well? You know, I just, in both games, really, this entire week, I thought we just shared the ball really well. I, if I'm, my memory serves right, I think we had like 26 or 27 assists in the St. Thomas game. And uh, if you're assisting on that many shots, then somebody's passing to you and somebody's finishing. And you know, I thought it was a total team effort. I know uh, just off memory, I know Taryn Hamlin came in and went three for three from three. Abby Graham came in and went three for three from three. So when you're getting that kind of production up and down your lineup, um, you know, it makes for fun days. We had some highlight plays in there. We had a loose ball play where I think four people got on the floor and it ended up in our hands and got an and one. Just a fun moment. Um, you know, and, and when we go to St. Tom, we got to play in front of probably 40, 50, 60 NDSU fans right behind our bench. So, you know, that was a really good trip for us. Yeah, I ended up taking over the gym there by the end. You talk about those highlight plays, Coach. I think one of my favorites was Mariley Simon banking in a three there. I don't know if she called Bank or not. Did you get any confirmation? Uh, I'm going to guess that she she's going to tell you that she did. <laughs> uh, I'm going to think that she did not. Uh, but, you know, that was the end of it. I don't know how many shots she's made this year at the end of a quarter uh, or <laughs> yeah. end of a buzzer. It's been uh, at least four maybe now. Uh, but she got that one at the end. And, and uh, you know, sometimes when it rains, it pours. The ball's going into the basket for us. And, uh, you know, that, that happens sometimes. Well, you saw it in both games. I mean, everybody's getting in on the action. Even in the St. Thomas game, I believe Heaven only had seven points. You guys yep. still put up 96. You talk about sharing the ball and getting some balance and getting everybody involved. How difficult of a matchup do you think your team is when you've got everybody contributing in that fashion? Yeah, well, I think anytime you're playing a team that has multiple people out there that are capable of getting double figures or shooting it the way we're shooting it right now, I mean, that just puts a ton of pressure on you defensively. I think everybody probably comes into our games with a big emphasis on how can we contain heaven and how can we contain L. Um, and we've just been able to do a good job as a group to not only continue to feed them, but recognize the opportunities for everybody else to make their plays, you know, in and around their, their chances. And uh, right now we're just capitalizing on those. Uh, I think there's a lot of players playing with confidence uh, and they know when they get their opportunity, they feel good about, you know, making a positive play for us. Coming back home, you have a quick turnaround. You're playing UND, big rivalry game, fun crowd here at the Shack. And you end up hanging triple digits once again, 107 to 80, the final. It was a three-point festival. Everybody got in on the action, and it was a great day to be a Bison here at Fargo. Yeah, it was a great day. I was just so happy for the men's team to, to get to play in front of that crowd. And then we had a great crowd. And then for track and field to win the indoor championship on the women's side, I mean, it was just a great day to be a Bison. I'm glad we could be part of it, glad we could play well. Uh, again, it was a total team effort, uh, multiple people scoring, and uh, you go down the line, you see what Morali does off the bench, Avery Coonan off the bench, Leah McKenzie scored 11 in eight minutes, and, and uh, you know, and Heaven and L also had great games, and then Schulte was player of the game, and Drapes went five or six from the floor. I mean, it's just up and down the lineup, there was production at, at a really high level. And, you know, going into that game, uh, you know, we played Thursday night on the road, had to come back, had minimal prep. For, for North Dakota and then they were off all week. So we didn't know if they were gonna come out and maybe try to press us and uh, you know, with the week's rest and, and juice, I was really proud of our team for coming out in the first quarter and hanging 34 uh, on a team that had a whole week to get ready for us and just kind of stepping up to the plate there. You mentioned Abby Schulte. I wanna ask about her. She was terrific in the UND game, but she's been really good down these last couple of weeks. Yeah, you know, I was actually just in my office doing some, some plus minus stuff for our, our it fits some things I do with the stat sheet and 
you know, this was her best. She was like plus 26 on five shot attempts. Um, that's insane production. Uh, so she was efficient when she scored, but she had six steals. She uh, had a bunch of assists. Uh, all the things that, that she's doing well right now is, is big time for us. And, and she's just kind of, you know, stepped her game up in the last two weeks, three weeks. I think her last five or six games, she's been as efficient as she's ever been in her career offensively. And then continued to be the leader in the defensive presence that, you know, that we're accustomed to with her. Well, it's the final week of regular season here, Coach. You got South Dakota Thursday, Senior Day here inside the shack, and then a big one to wrap up the regular year against the Jackrabbits down in Brookings. Senior day with Heaven Hamling, one of yeah. the all-time greats in NDSU women's basketball history. What's it going to be like to see her walk out on that floor and, and honor her? Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be great. It's going to be bittersweet too. Um, you know, Heaven's been here every second I've been here, um, and you know, so that's a unique thing for us. Um, I'm so proud to be able to to coach her, uh, and so proud of how she's evolved in her career here. Uh, just like you said, she's one of the all-time greats, and, and I hope there's a lot of people here to watch her one more time in the shack um, and to come out and support her for her career because she's, she's earned it. Uh, you know, she came here at a time where it wasn't great and, and helped us really change the trajectory of our program. Uh, so she's going to be, uh, she's one of the all-timers for sure. Well, we're going to give her some great recognition Thursday night in here inside the shack against South Dakota and then a big one on, on Saturday in Brookings against South Dakota State. Jory, always appreciate it. Good luck this you week. Bet. Thanks, Sam. For Jory Collins, I'm Sam Biederman. This is the Bison Basketball Show. Better starts with convenience. Better starts with trust. You can trust that your pre-approval is guaranteed on closing day, which is one less thing to worry about. Better starts with saving you money. No ATM fees and no minimum balances mean how you spend your money is up to you. Because at Gate City Bank, better starts with you. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. Champions work hard and champions play hard, but none of it happens without the rest and recovery that comes from a good night's sleep. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems is the official sleep partner of the NDSU Bison. And just like the herd, they're a proud company founded in North Dakota with North Dakota values and tradition. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems is a third generation company now at the showroom in Fargo, offering premium mattresses to help you take your sleep seriously. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems, located on 13th Avenue. You're going to love sleeping with us. There's something new near NDSU. First Western Banking Trust now has a location on the Bison Block, right where you need them to be. Introducing our newest location, right across from campus. Same great service and same great people you can count on. First Western Bank and Trust. You can bank on us. A better way of life is better days off and better nights in. Better hellos. And better goodbyes. With locally approved, financed, and serviced home loans, Gate City Bank makes buying a home simple. Welcome home. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. All right, Bison Nation, welcome back out into the Bison Basketball Show. We've got NDSU men's coach Dave Richmond here with us. And coach, what a weekend to be a Bison. First off, great win on Thursday against St. Thomas, but let's rewind to Saturday. Awesome day here inside the shack as both teams get victories, the men and the women, and what a crowd that we had, too. Yeah, I, th I think that's it. Before I get to us, it's, it's a culminating thing. It's a collective effort, right? And. Um, our, our track teams did so well. Um, Jory and his ladies are playing, you know, terrific. And, and for us to be part of that party on, on Saturday, um, you know, Bison Nation showed up, showed out, our students, the, the band. Um, man, it was just, just a really, like, I sit here and still have that smirk, that grin on my face. Just a, a great weekend. I thought our guys defended all weekend, um, responded to some adversity all weekend. I mean, it was life. It was college basketball. It, it was a... Um, a, a terrific college basketball atmosphere and experience. 
What was going through your mind? 5,000 plus, and it's a rivalry game against UND and down the home stretch, it's coming down to the wire. Do you ever just kind of sit back and soak it in a little bit as a coach? No, not, <laughs> not, not, not in the moment. Uh, you, you can do those things later on in the evening on Saturday and, and Sunday when you're watching it back a couple times. But um, again, we, we told the guys, you know, before the game, you know, what's understood doesn't need to be explained. And, and uh, the atmosphere, uh, the rivalry, um, the, the magnitude just of where the both teams are in the standings. If you can't get excited, if you can't get yourself up for this, like there, there's something wrong with you. You're, you're in the wrong place. And um, thankfully, our, our guys responded. Um, you know, we, we were a little choppy, and maybe that's saying it nicely, offensively at times. Um, our, it, it wasn't like we were trying to miss shots, and I think some of them were good looks, and we'll get back in the gym and get, get after it. But uh, when you're consistent in who you are defensively, when you're consistent in finishing possessions, um, Saturday in particular, we took great care of the ball. Those things are going to put you in a position to, to win games, and, and we were able to do that. Well, we've seen this year, Coach, coming back from maybe a slow start like St. Thomas or first half deficits, but time was not our friend there down the stretch, down by seven with about six minutes to play. You mentioned the defense allowing the offense to get cooking there in that final stretch. What do you think the key was in executing? I think it was staying the course. I think it was never getting away from who we are defensively and yet realizing that, hey, just, just stay the course offensively, stay the course offensively. And um, our, our guys really trusted the big fella. Morgs was, ter was terrific on Saturday, and, and we kept touching him and playing out of it. Um, other guys understand that, and they feed off of, you know, how other teams are guarding him, and, and that's the best version of us. And, and, but to take care of the ball like we did, to only turn it over seven times, not bring those losing plays, losing equations into it, um, that made us successful offensively as well. You mentioned Morg's coach. He was great all weekend, but I want to ask particularly against UND. He has 27 points, 11 of 15 from the floor. He makes a huge three to give us the lead down the stretch. How has he been able to diversify his offensive game? Well, I think he'd be the first to tell you it, it's trust, and, and it is his dominance down low and our guys' effectiveness out in the perimeter. It, it really challenges and, and compromises teams and staffs as they're preparing for you. Um, it, it's really challenging to handle the big fella one-on-one, -on -one, but if you choose to double him, you know, Bowden and, and Jakari, Damari made a three. You know, those guys are shooting it really, really well. Um, to Javis, you know, it, not particularly this weekend, but but last weekend at ORU and Denver shot it well. And, and, and when you're looking at stats and you're looking at those things, you're trying to pick and choose between those things. And um, that's a benefit. That's servant leadership for our program. Thursday against St. Thomas, slow start offensively. Didn't score a bucket until almost the five minutes into the first half. Don't don't mean to remind you there, but the defense was great, and you held them to a season low 50 points. You know, St. Thomas plays different than a lot of teams. They they pressure um, different, a little bit more than most teams in our league, and, and I think it took our guys just a, a little bit to settle in and execute against that. I thought some of our looks were good. Maybe we were a little sped up by that pressure. But again, to our guys' credit, they, they never uh, rattled. They never got away from the game plan. They stayed the course. We continued to guard. We continued to finish. Man, we were terrific on the glass. Almost doubled them up um, on the glass. And then we really settled in. I believe we were around 60% offensively in, in the second half. And, and when you get all those things coming together, that's how you can gap it and you know have 14, 16, 17-point leads. 39-20 uh, to 20 on the glass there at the end of the St. Thomas game. You look ahead to this week, Coach, obviously big games coming down the home stretch, have a chance to get uh, one of the top two seeds in Sioux Falls, so that's on the table, everything in front of us. But I want to start first with Cedar Day. We're going to have Cedar Day Saturday, another big game against South Dakota State, uh, and going to be honoring uh, a couple of Bison who have contributed a lot to this program. Yeah, no question, and, and some North Dakota kids. You know, Ryan Sletton has been a, f a fun, integral part of our program the last couple years, and love having him and the legacy that is his family. Um, but yeah, I mean, e even sitting here today, it's hard for me not to get a little choked up. You know, Bowden Scumberg, you know, going back to his junior year and, and watching him work out in his practice and in his conviction to be a Bison, um, is his passion uh, for the game, his love of, of God and faith. Um, Saturday is going to be a special day, and, and it's, it's going to be important throughout our practices and all these things that we're focused, uh, we're, we're present, not making something bigger than it is because there's still bigger things out there. Um, but uh, uh, Saturday in particular will be a really cool day to honor two special young men. Uh, no doubt about it, Coach. Cannot wait. We'll see you Thursday in Vermilion for the final regular season road trip of the year and then back here on Saturday for a big one against SDSU. Appreciate the time. Let's do it, Sam. Appreciate you. Go Bison. Thank you, Coach. We'll talk here soon with a couple of the seniors.
uh, who are going to be honored this week at Bowdoin Scumberg and Heaven Hamley. Coming up next here on the Bison Basketball Show. Champions work hard and champions play hard, but none of it happens without the rest and recovery that comes from a good night's sleep. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems is the official sleep partner of the NDSU Bison. And just like the herd, they're a proud company founded in North Dakota with North Dakota values and tradition. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems is a third generation company now at the showroom in Fargo, offering premium mattresses to help you take your sleep seriously. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems, located on 13th Avenue. You're going to love sleeping with us. PetroServe USA gets the job done, giving you a peace of mind for all your propane needs. We provide scheduled home delivery, competitive pricing, and expert customer service from our knowledgeable techs. Call or go online today to learn more about our propane services and how convenient it is to order and pay online at PetroServeUSA.com. Your member-owned cooperative, PetroServe USA, helping America feel better. USA. Call today. This is Jack. Jack has a debit card from Gate City Bank. Jack likes to use his debit card because he earns points for every dollar he spends. When these points add up, they're redeemable for thousands of different rewards, like travel, cash back, or gift cards to his favorite restaurant. Whatever Jack chooses, he can earn rewards he loves just by using his debit card. So be like Jack and earn points today at gatecity.bank slash enroll. There's something new near NDSU. First Western Banking Trust now has a location on the Bison Block, right where you need them to be. Introducing our newest location, right across from campus. Same great service and same great people you can count on. First Western Bank and Trust. You can bank on us. Hey, Bison Nation, it's the Bison Basketball Show, and it's time for a senior salute. We're here with NDSU senior Jamestown's own Bowden Scumberg here with us on the show. And, Bo, it's unbelievable. Uh, last regular season games for you coming up here as a Bison on senior week. It was wild, you know, growing, you know, being a freshman and sophomore, they say, you know, it goes by fast. And I was like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I, got, I got time, but now that I'm here and, you know, being here and realizing I only got one left in the shack, Man, it's crazy. That time flies, my friend. What's it meant to you to play here in your home state and represent NDSU the last four years? It means everything to me. You know, family is such a big thing for me. And, you know, just this community that and family that I've built here in Fargo, it's been awesome. And just seeing all these similar faces every game, you know, doing it, just playing for them. And I think that's been a huge part of why I play, and, you know, why we bring our best just every day in practice and in games. When you talk about family, your family is one of the most supportive <laughs> around. They're always in full force, always in the little corner, cheering you on. I was just talking about your uncle against UND on Saturday. He's running around the arena starting the wave. What's it been like to have them in your corner and here for you every single home game? It's such a blessing. You know, um, I, don't, I wouldn't be able to do it without them, honestly. And they're just, they're great. They show up to every game. They, they try and make literally every game home and away. And yeah, and they, they don't take it lightly. Like my uncle's literally running around the whole, starting the wave and I'm like, and I see it in the game, I'm like, man, but that's just such an awesome blessing for me to have him at every single game. What are some of your favorite memories, Bo, of being a Bison? I think back, you know, maybe Western Illinois, hitting the buzzer yeah. beater, what comes to mind? Um, honestly, that, that's probably one of the main ones, but I don't have a like, specific one, but just like all the countless hours, you know, blood, sweat, and tears put in on my brothers and grinding and in games but yeah honestly probably my uncle running around too is probably one of my favorite that, that threw me for a little bit of a loop <laughs> you know? I love it man um, you look at what this senior year has given you I mean ups and downs like any season um, but with this team how special would it be to find a way to get that championship oh, yeah, here in this final go round yeah I've, I've been to the championship for three straight years now and I've lost the first three straight years and Man, I have, we have such a better taste in our mouth, and you know, I, I love these guys, and we want nothing more than to win a championship, not just for you know for us, but for everyone that supports us, and you know, like our family and the community, for sure. How much fun has it been uh, seeing this group start to click here over the last month? Now that you guys are putting things together, oh, yeah, definitely. You know, we've been through a lot of highs and lows, and 
you know, you kind of figure out who you are on the lows and you're better for it. But man, just the countless hours that we put in and it just it feels so good to finally start, you know, get rolling. When you look at um, the crowd that we had oh, yeah. on Saturday, UND, where does that one rank in terms of your time here? That was, that was probably number one. But, you know, during the game, you don't really like, you know, re realize why you're playing. But then every now and then, you look, like in the timeout, you look up and be like, oh, yeah, that was pretty cool. And you know, a lot of a lot of family and friends. So that was really awesome. Coming from Jamestown, you had an awesome high school career. You win a player of the year honor. You win a state championship. What's it meant to represent your hometown coming right. here to NDSU and putting on a big stage? Yeah, I mean, you don't hear much about Jamestown, much about anywhere, but, you know, I got, it's just great to be able to put on, you know, uh, you know, speak for some of those guys there and just, you know, we have a lot of love in Jamestown and I have a lot of pride in being from Jamestown and it just be able, it's awesome being able to do that. Well, you have certainly represented well, my friend. It's been an unbelievable four, uh, four years. Going to be a great time uh, in the shack on Saturday as we honor your congratulations on a great run, and let's go get it done and cut down the nets here in a couple weeks. Amen, brother. Awesome. Thank you, Bo. Appreciate you. Bowden Scumberg here with us on the Bison Basketball Show, a senior salute as he gets ready for his final home game here in the shack Saturday against SDSU. PetroServe USA gets the job done, giving you a peace of mind for all your propane needs. We provide scheduled home delivery, competitive pricing, and expert customer service from our knowledgeable techs. Call or go online today to learn more about our propane services and how convenient it is to order and pay online at PetroServeUSA.com. Your member-owned cooperative, PetroServe USA, helping America feel better. USA. Call today. Teamwork, talent, dedication, leadership. These values build community, improve lives, and make a difference every single day. For you, for our neighbors, for our community, for a better way of life. Gate City Bank. It's the Bison Basketball Show, and it's time for another senior salute. We're here with NDSU Women's Hoops all-time great. Heaven <laughs> Hamling here with us on the show. And Heaven, senior week has arrived. Your final home game in the shack on Thursday as we take on South Dakota. How crazy does that sound? Yeah, it's kind of emotional for me. I've been here for five years, so coming up on my last game, it, it's crazy. Well, we were talking with Jory earlier, too, and he said, you know, heaven came to us when we were just getting started, right, and starting to build something up. What do you remember about first coming to NDSU, first meeting Coach Collins and the vision that he had, and how cool is it to see it kind of come into fruition here in year five? Yeah, I mean, the first year I kind of was like, hey, I just need to get better uh, through myself, and I just need to get stronger, faster on the court, and so... I saw the team play from the bench perspective and I wasn't able to play, it was a red shirt year. And I just kind of learned the offense, learned what the culture was. And then when I was able to step in um, and really help out the team, I kind of just stepped in as a leader position. And then now um, just going from back how it was then to how it is now, it's night and day difference. I mean, we'd lose close games and now it's like, we're raining threes and we're, we're making all of our shots and we're celebrating, so it's super cool. 
You see this uh, group and how tight-knit you guys are during the game. You mentioned the celebrations. I mean, I'm watching against UND, and everybody's getting there. Morales hitting yeah. threes, right? <laughs> and, you know, she banks one in against St. Mm -hmm. Thomas, and she, she's got this knack for it at the end of the quarter. But how much fun has this year and this group been for you to experience it? Yeah, so much fun. I mean, some teams try to take players away, but it's like, hey, the next guy's going to hit a three in your face or drive the basket and take advantage of you. So it's super cool. And then just the way we do celebrate as a team is awesome. I enjoy celebrating, so when I see other people doing it, it just gets me going as well. I love it, Heaven. Uh, you look at your career and you mentioned that you've grown so much. What do you think some of the biggest learning points have been for you as a Bison, as a Division One student athlete, um, on and off the court here throughout your collegiate career? Yeah, I mean, I came in as an 18, 19 year old and didn't really know like who I was going to be as a person. But from being at NDSU, um, I've just grown as a young adult. Um, everyone here it just develops you. I mean, the strength coaches, the, your assistant coaches, your academic uh, advisors, they all want to help you. And I think that's just kind of how I've grown um, with all the support that I have here at NDSU. Your sister, Taryn, has played with you this year, which we've talked about coming into the year was such a cool story. What's it been like, obviously, to play with her, but to see her contribute and shine as a freshman with this group? Yeah, it's awesome, and it's super special for me. I mean, when you're a freshman and you come in, you're kind of deer in the headlights, not knowing if you're going to even get an opportunity to even play. Uh, so to be able to see her go on the court and occasionally hit a three and, you know, develop as a player, it's so special for me to be able to watch that. I love it. What would it mean for this group to cut down the nets and send you guys off the right way? I mean, it's coming up here in a couple weeks down in Sioux Falls. That's where it's going to come down to. How special would that be? Uh, so special. It's been my goal for four or five years now. Uh, just since I've been getting on this campus, it's, it's been my dream and my goal to be able to take this team uh, to cut down a net. So I just hope it can happen. Well, I think there's a very good possibility <laughs> of it. It's going to be here no matter what. It's going to be a lot of fun. Heaven, really appreciate you taking the time. Uh, you're the GOAT. <laughs> enjoy enjoy your senior day and um, enjoy these last couple of games of the regular season to finish strong. Thank you. I appreciate that. Awesome. Evan Hamling here with us on the Bison Basketball Show. Senior day Thursday against South Dakota as we honor her and the Bison look to finish strong in the regular season. The Bison Basketball Show is presented by Gate City Bank for a better way of life. And Pepsi. This has been an exclusive presentation from Learfield. Stay prepared for the days and nights ahead with the best weather team. 